All right, what's up? So I usually don't do a lot of iOS coverage videos. However, uh, since this is the last one of the year, the last beta, and I will elaborate on that in just a second, um, I did just want to go ahead and cover it because, I mean, honestly, why not? Uh, so let's get right into that. So like I was saying, um, we, we probably won't have any kind of betas for the rest of the year, uh, which does sound like a long time, but it's going to be about two to three weeks. Um, and that is because so we got 18.3 beta one on the 16th. Um, but because the next couple weeks, you know, we have Christmas and then we have New Year's like it, that's usually when Apple takes off. And so the reason I would suggest not downloading a new beta, you know, 18.3 is just because we, you know, if you have an issue, it probably won't be fixed um, up until the first week of January. And I would expect beta two to be around the sixth, maybe possibly. So just keep in mind, if you run into issues while testing this beta, we're not going to have a fix for it up until January. Um, so if you have trouble, you may just have to downgrade it using the computer and, and stuff like that. Now, the build number for this beta 18.3 is 22D5034E. Uh, and, you know, I'm a little surprised the E actually is not that far off from an A, so it seems like Apple isn't expecting too many betas for this. Now, as far as new features, um, so far there's not a lot, I will say. Um, there's currently no new Apple intelligence features, which is a little bit sad. Um, but, you know, in a way it, it might be kind of nice to not have to worry about that for three weeks, right, and have people have trouble. Um, however, um, Aaron P. over on uh, Twitter actually shared something that says it appears a iOS 18.3 Beta 1 adds support for robot vacuums in the home app. And of course, he found some uh, some code for that. And I mean, that's kind of interesting. I, you know, for those of you who may have robot vacuums to be able to add those into the app and control them from there will be kind of a cool feature. It seems like nobody's able to actually get that to work. And it is just in sort of the underlying code. But when that when they kind of get that moving forward, that'll be fun. Now, I know a lot of people also want battery intelligence. And basically what this will do is when you plug up your phone, you know, it'll it'll tell you kind of how long it'll take until it's fully charged uh, based on, you know, how how fast your charger is. And of course, a bit of intelligence in there. Uh, but it seems like so far there's still no no form of this. Um, you know, it, it was found in the code, of course, back in 18.2, but um, I would assume it'll definitely happen. It just, you know, no clue when. Now, for people who do have support for camera control, um, it has finally been updated uh, with a similar um, dark mode icon. So if I switch my icons over here to dark mode, you will see that if you do have uh, camera control, it also does, you know, finally have the included dark mode version of its little icon here. Uh, as a reminder, again, just like I said earlier, if you are um, downloading this, you know, don't do it on your main device uh, because we're not going to have any new betas for a few weeks. And so, you, you know, you, you don't want to run into an issue and then have to downgrade and risk losing your data, stuff like that. Um, however, I would expect the full release of iOS 18.3 in January, late January, probably last week-ish towards the end. But hey, that's really been it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, Christmas is basically about here. New Year's is about here. Uh, it's crazy how fast everything's sort of gone, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Maybe even subscribe. Uh, but Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.